Hey everyone, this is Arachiel, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on proper UVW mapping. This video will be divided into three sections, filling the 0 to 1 space, ensuring matching texture resolution, and using UVs to make your texturing easier. Section 1, filling the 0 to 1 space. The most important thing to note when creating your UVW map is working in the 0 to 1 space is that you should always use every inch of your available space if possible. The larger your UV is for an object means a higher resolution, which means your texture and materials look better. Leaving UV space unoccupied is a bad habit, so try your hardest to avoid doing it. Here you can see I have multiple objects, and they will all be using the same UV space in order to keep my entire 0 to 1 space full. You want to establish a general resolution for your objects in a project to stay around. Sometimes, however, this leaves you with open UV space. Looking at each individual object, we can see how the UVs are placed so as to occupy the same 0 to 1 space without intersecting with each other. This allows us to use one texture map for all the objects instead of having to create three different ones. The easiest way to organize your UVs like this is to attach all the objects together after modeling and unwrapping them individually. After we attach them together, you can see all the UVs on one unwrap. After manipulating them into a position that makes the most use out of our 0 to 1 space, be sure to render out your UV template for any texture editing you may do before detaching your objects. Oftentimes, you'll find yourself limited 0 to 1 space or in need of creating efficient textures. An extremely easy technique to utilize that saves you UV space is overlapping UVs. Simply put, this is layering one object or element's UVs over another so that they share the same space. This technique is useful for objects that aren't very apparent, are small, or not highly focused on by the player. This technique is good for saving UV space, however if used to access, it will become apparent to the player that an object's texture is being tiled or that it's using the same UV space. A quick fix to help break up the visual similarity of elements using the same UV space is to just flip the UVs. Oftentimes, this small change can make enough of a difference that it prevents the eye from noticing the texture is being copied. Section 2, Ensuring Matching Texture Resolution the texture resolution is an important piece of designing 3D work in order to keep your models looking consistent. An easy way to ensure your texture will be consistent is to use the built-in checker pattern in your Edit Parameters window dropdown. This will apply a checker pattern to your model and allow you to determine whether an object's UV resolution will be the same as another's. Ensure that every element of an object retains the same checker density. Once every element of an object is correctly scaled, if you have more than one object that will be using the same 0 to 1 space, attach your correctly scaled object to the next one and scale the UVs to match your original model. Oftentimes it can be difficult to see the scale of the checker density depending on the object you're working on, so an easy solution to this is to scale the UVs of the object until you can clearly see your checker squares on the smallest face and then scale all your other UVs to that. Once everything is properly scaled, ensure you downscale your UVs to fit back into the 0 to 1 space if they've exceeded it. Section 3, Using UVs to make your texturing easier. While UVs may be the more tedious section of 3D modeling and texturing, they can often make your texturing easier if used in the correct way. A technique I like to use is to separate the UVs of different textures. For example, one piece of an object uses concrete and a piece it's connected to uses a gold texture. While simply attaching them all together seems simpler and more consistent, it can hinder your texturing process in the form of texture bleeding. Keeping your UVs for these two sections separated ensures easier placement and separation of textures. Another technique that's useful is to UV map before an object has been completely manipulated. Uh, the simplest way to showcase this is a line that's being modified. A line is a great tool for making complex directional cylinders, however its unwrap is difficult to deal with. An easy way to circumvent this issue is to use a cylinder that is unwrapped before aligning it to the form of the line. Your UVW stays straight and extremely easy to texture while your object contorts the shape of the line. Relax the UVs if you want to trade less stretching for more difficulty texturing. In this way, using UVW for completing a model has benefited us. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to follow me on any social media or tune into my stream at twitch.tv slash Games.
the live creation of video game assets and assistance, and to find my schedule.